So I think the recording is on. So I want to hope that everyone is doing good wherever we are and that um, we are faring on well with the project for this week. Welcome everyone to the stand up of today. Um, we are in week 11. We are almost coming to the end and I believe everyone is prepared for um, the world of work outside. Um, and uh, we'll just go through um, so that we can know how everyone is doing. So in the stand up of today, um, you will just tell us how, how far you have been able to uh, go in terms of solving the challenge of this week. And also if you will be able to, uh, if you're confident enough that you are going to submit, that is the interim submission. So um, first of all, I would love to go with uh, the volunteers. How many of us would love to um, give us a progress of how their week has been? Yeah. So we have Biniam and then Martin. So Biniam can go. Good morning, Desmond. Am I audible? Audible enough. Okay. To give you an update, yesterday I have managed to complete the extraction and loading part, and uh, I've also started the transformation part, which is going to be done by the DBT. Uh, it seems to be going well, so I think I'm going to be able to make uh, today's submission. Uh, yeah, uh, I think it's going well, so I don't have any blockers. This week's uh, challenge uh, seems to be much uh, easier than the previous ones. Uh, yeah, so that's my update. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. Martin? Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, so uh, also me, uh, I've also been working on the airflow and the DBT, and uh, I was able to extract and load the data. That was uh, for my side, I, I, I opted to use the data source of Postgres because I tried using Snowflake, but uh, when you're using Snowflake, you'll have to uh, do a lot of configuration when you're trying to connect with the CSV file. So, um, I found it quite easy to work with the with Postgres as the data source uh, for the transformation. Yes, I'm using a DBT, uh, so I've been working on that, and uh, also uh, hopefully by the end of today I'll I'll begin uh, working on the Redash and also to just submit the particular uh, requirements that are required. That is from the side of the uh, the submission for today evening. Yeah, so that's uh, what I have uh, for today. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Martin. Are there any blockers that are facing on your end? Uh, maybe I would have desired to use Snowflake and uh, I would have really uh, wanted to know uh, just uh, especially how to uh, connect because most of the cases it's using S3, uh, the AWS S3 buckets, uh, but uh, you can also use the GCP buckets. So even after creating the GCP buckets, it still brings uh, some issues when trying to connect with Snowflake. So uh, I'd like to know how to go around that so that um, even though it may not be this week, but also uh, just later in future, I can be able to uh, do my DBT connections with Snowflake. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that update. Uh, yes, you did, yeah? Uh, okay, good morning, Desmond. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, okay, so just to give an update, I've, I haven't been able to do much on Monday and Tuesday. I've been caught up with some other things, but I've started, I've gone through the challenge document yesterday in the evening, uh, and I now have some, some kind of idea of what I'm going to implement. But I just have one question. Maybe if I, I think some of you guys have already started the implementation. Are we just going to use one of the CSV file or are we going to download all of the CSV file and do the mapping? Yeah, Martin, uh, you have an answer to. Yeah, it's this one. It's this one. 
so the mappings are going to be done only on the on the single csv file yeah you just uh, pick one that is uh, when you download it from uh the browser you just pick the time location blah 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 then you download it and that's the one you'll be using for uh, extracting loading and uh, doing the transforms okay and just one more question do we i think it's semicolon separated uh, values this is file we have to convert that into a comma separate values right yeah you can no no, no you can just also use uh, the same uh, you can use the separator of the semicolon uh, but uh, you'll just you know with if you're using pandas you'll have to mm. put it in a format like it accepts rejects uh that's how it will be able to 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 accept the sem the semicolon separator oh okay so we just have to use the endings or the separate as the semicolon when reading from the data set yeah that's uh, how uh, i used it from my end yeah semi semicolon separator okay okay Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. Um, we have uh, Jeremy. Okay. Hi, everyone. Hi, hi, Jeremy. Just to give you an update, uh, I choose uh, Wave 3 care, so I'm focusing uh, this week on the previous Wave 3 assignments. Uh, but I have one question. Uh, for those who picked uh, Web3, do we submit Web3 repo for today? Uh, I didn't get your question, Jeremy. Um, I, have picked, I have picked Web3 and uh, I'm just working on the Web3 assignment for this week. So, uh, uh, do we have to submit the Web3 repo for today's submission? Um, yeah, the okay. uh, told us uh, to work on Web3, polishing on the Web3 assignment, so, you know, the, the, the data engineering part. Okay, okay. I am not very sure uh, if, um, because there is no, uh, um, an outline way in which you're going to make your submissions for the Web3, because you're improving on what you had uh, done last week. So, I think maybe you can confirm that, and then um, I'll give you the answer maybe in Slack. Okay, okay. So, okay. so um, who goes next? Yes, Daisy. Um, thank you, Desmond. Good morning. Um, I'm doing well. I'm feeling quite under the weather today, but as for my progress, I've been able to at least get an get an understanding of the. Uh, challenge document and work on today's interim submission. Um, I also plan on working on the uh, video submission for the career assignment today and to proceed with the setup of the tools like Airflow and DBT. I've been able to at least download the data and presently I'm working on like a schema design for my data warehouse. That's my progress, thank you. Okay, do you have any blockers you're facing? Um, not yet. I have the same question as you did here, and it's been answered. Okay. So we have uh, Matilda. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, as for my progress, I am still going through the materials, understanding the challenge better. And hopefully I'll get started on the implementation today. Yesterday I managed to download the the um the data and yeah i'll get to explore it today thank you are there any blockers you're facing on your end no no blockers okay uh, are you confident that you're going to do your interim submissions today yes hopefully okay okay so we have um test file okay hello can you hear me yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Um, yeah, uh, I haven't done much in those uh, past two days, but uh, I have gone through the challenge uh, document as well, and uh, I haven't uh, started the coding part, but I have also set up the environment. Uh, I have installed all the required um, tools, 
So uh, yeah, today um, we'll start the coding and I will initiate the GitHub also. Uh, no blocker by my side up to now, but if I get any uh, blockers, I will ask those that have already gone through it. Okay, so you're also confident that you're going to do your interim submissions today? Yeah, 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 just one. Okay, okay, thank you for that update. Um, who goes next? Malaku. Okay, good morning. So, uh, good morning. My update on my side is uh, I have set up the environment and I was, uh, I, I downloaded the data and set up the environment. So it's my objective and the regarding blockers, I was uh, facing uh, an error when I was set setting up airflow. I'm still using Windows. I think that's why I'm facing a lot of uh, errors when setting up airflow. So uh, finally it worked. So it's my job. No, thank you. Are you confident that you're going to do your interim yeah. submissions today? Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you for um, that update. Um, so who goes next? Yes, um, Tadese. Hello, good morning, everyone. Good can morning. you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, from my side, uh, I, I <coughs> uh, yesterday I'm reading the document and I uh, understand the things that I will going to do and uh, then I have tried to set up everything uh, but uh, as Malaku said uh, I'm also using Windows so uh, uh, to set up things uh, it is somehow challenging and uh, I have communicated with Martin and uh, we have started yesterday to set up everything maybe I will uh, communicate Martin also today to set up uh, the airflow on Windows. Maybe he's using uh, uh, Linux, but uh, he have a good idea on set up in Git. Also, Henok, uh, with Henok, I have communicated. So that's all uh, on understanding level. How do we implement the things, uh, the problem description, and uh, everything is clear. And I've downloaded the data. Uh, but I have one question. If the tutors are there, uh, I think when I see things uh, in data engineering, uh, the organizations need uh, to to extract the data, uh, automatic extraction of data from a system. For example, when we set up a DBT Kafka Airflow, it automatically extracts some data and uh, to operate on it even by tracking the time it downloaded and as a size also. So, in, but in this, uh, in this task, we are downloading the CSV. Uh, is we going to download it or give the pass to our implementation just to automatically extract that data? Maybe this is my question. Thank you. Okay. Um... Yeah, in, in this challenge, I think we have been given the data, but maybe uh, outside it will be different. Yeah, so um, yeah, do, do we have someone else who want to add? Okay. Uh, do we have someone else who wants to go next? Um, the night. Hi, good morning, everyone. So yesterday I was not able to work as much, but I've been looking at some references and uh, I have downloaded the data, set up my airflow. Yeah. 
that's it no blockers uh, you're confident that you are going to um uh, do your interim submissions today yeah i hope so okay okay thank you thank you for the update um who goes next Okay, Mark. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, so yesterday I've been working on, uh, so I downloaded the, I worked on Airflow and uh, loaded the uh, data to my database. So I have to work on uh, T and make the deadlines and do these interim submissions. Okay, are there any blockers you're facing on your end? I was having trouble trying to load the data, but uh, uh, Martin has already said it, uh, no blockers. No. Okay, so you're also confident you will uh, <clears throat> do your interim submissions? Yeah. I'm Okay, thank you. Thank you for um, that update. So who goes next? Okay, so um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Looks like maybe we have to walk around the room so that we get a few more updates on how um, you're able to, what you're able to do for this week's challenge. Um, Rafa, can you give us an update? Hello, hi Desmond, morning. Hi, morning. Yeah. Um, so, for today, I I plan to focus on virtual interim submissions uh, for the technical and non-technical part. Um, I think I set up also the environment for the work so that uh, hopefully um, on the track and yeah, we'll be finished on time. And there isn't lot of software. Okay, thank you. You are also confident you are going to do your interim submissions? Yeah, yeah, I oh, Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you for the update. Um, um, Samuel, can you give us an update on your end? Okay, hello, Desmond, and good morning to everyone. Uh, to give you a bit from my side, uh, it's going good uh, i'm looking and trying to uh, i'm done the extract and load part and i'm um, looking forward to continue on the challenge uh i guess any blo uh, block block for me would be that my pc is not uh, it's getting slower and slower but i'm trying to work around it uh, for me okay so will you be able to do your interim submission yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the update. We hope that you uh, will be able to sort out the issue of the speed of your computer. Um, so, um, um, Nardos, oh, we have Titus. Titus, Titus. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Um, so from my side also, uh, yesterday uh, I was just going through the familiarizing myself with the reply tools that we'll be using. And uh, I just downloaded the data. I haven't loaded, I haven't loaded it yet into my, my warehouse, but that's what I'll do today. So basically that's my progress and I'm positive for, for, the, for, for today's uh, submission. 
and also just just a question um yeah uh, before yeah just a question um concerning uh how we'll set things up um so we have all those tools um so we will like should, is it advisable like to dockerize everything like run everything in the docker rather than just like running it in the, from the local from the local file system like yeah everything is supposed to communicate with each other so like uh is docker the best uh, the best way for for that or maybe someone could just um, i don't know setting a, a, everything up in the docker i don't know if i'm making sense so is my question clear yeah the question is clear uh yeah i think it will be important for you to dockerize um your your everything into one so that they are just able to uh, communicate with one another Oh, okay. okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Titus, for um, thank thank you, Titus, for the update that you have given us. Um, so we move to the next person, um, Rahmet. Rahmet, are you able to give us an update? Hello, everyone. Hello, good so morning. I'm working on Web3 project. So I'm just trying to finish the, the one that I didn't finish this week. Okay, okay. So you're working on your Web3 uh, project okay. for last week. Okay, yes. thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that update. Uh, so we have Gezahen. Gaza hen. Gaza hen, I think your your hand is hep, but uh, you have not unmuted. Maybe if you're speaking. Hello. Yes, hello. We can hear you now. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, uh, good morning everyone. Just uh, to give you my update about my yesterday. Uh, yesterday I was uh, running to configure the VT and uh, Airflow together and uh, I tried to build some scripts to do that. And I have to split the creativity and, uh, on Airflow. So uh, also I was able to download and uh, load the data provided. Uh, so I have a plan for today. I have a plan to prepare my uh, submissions and try to build some schemas for the uh, for the data set. One challenge I face, uh, I think, uh, from the references we provided, uh, there is a link for a GitHub package used to visualize and interact with the data, and the GitHub repo provided for the visualization is not working for me. I try to follow up the instructions and uh, try to see what the visualization seems like on the using that plug. Uh, it didn't work out for me. So this is from my end. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, I'm not sure why that uh, <clears throat> GitHub link was not working for you. If someone uh, from the trainee tries that one, you can share me. Okay. Was there anyone who was able to try the GitHub link? Anyone was able to try the GitHub link? Okay, um, maybe get a hand. You can you can come up again. There's a there's a a GitHub link I think in the um, resource files. So you can come up again. Get a hand. Yes, yes. I uh, think you can come up again. So. Yeah, from the challenge document, uh, we have a GitHub link to use for the data visualization for those packages. I mean for those datas. And I have tried the first one to just before I try to build schemas, uh, I want to visualize the data and the values there. So 
I was trying to follow up the instructions for the package and try to visualize the data. So it's not work out for me. If someone tries and tries, uh, he successfully visualizes the data. <clears throat> Maybe if I made a mistake on the configuration or something like that, even the OS may matter. So can share me. Okay. Was there anyone who was able to do the visualization from the link, <clears throat> the GitHub link? Okay. Um, yes, Biniam? Yeah, does it? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, if you completed the extraction loading in transformation, because yeah, uh, for as I understand it, you should be uh, visualizing after uh, you complete the uh, uh, ALT. So, uh, well, uh, I don't think. Uh, uh, have you finished the ALT first? No, uh, I didn't mean to that. Uh, I, I'm not saying that. Uh, from the challenge document, there is a package, a GitHub package to visualize the data, which is a trivia GitHub repository. So I was trying to uh, download it and uh, try to configure it to my local and try to see the data I downloaded from the link. So that's what I mean, Pini. Uh, Not the final uh, uh, dashboard, which is built by Redash. OK, in that case, I haven't tried the link, so. Sorry, I can't Okay. I'm not sure if someone raised uh, their hand. Okay, looks like <clears throat> none, maybe. Um, so, but thanks, thanks, Gezahen, for your update. Uh, maybe we'll just try and look into it and then see if perhaps there's a chat, there's a problem with um, uh, the GitHub repo that was given. Uh, so who wants to go next before maybe we bring this to um, an end and then maybe we get to the hot seat? Okay, um, I think, yeah, thanks to all those who are also able to give the update in, um, um, in, in, in the chat. Thanks, Meron, um, uh, Hinok, Ados, um, and uh, Nahom. You can see your updates in, uh, in, 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 <clears throat> in the chat. So, Ken? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Uh, sorry, I joined in late, but I just wanted to give an update. <clears throat> so yesterday, I was setting up the environment. And I managed to, to get the Docker file for Airflow. I've not run it, but I'll do it just right now. I also did further research on the project, but I didn't do much of the coding. I will do it today. About the submission, uh, for the non-technical part, I haven't recorded the video yet. I'll, I will record it just after this stand-up session. For the other submission, I'm hopeful that I'll be able to submit them on time. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Ken, for um, that update. Um, and thanks, everyone, for giving us an update. <clears throat> uh, so if um, um, 
I know that every one of us has been able to talk in one of the stand-ups, uh, but if you still find it hard, keep on trying so that uh, you place yourself, uh, have that confidence, because in the world of work um, outside, you will have to give a progress um, each and every time of how far you've been able to do a project or um, how far you, what, whatever you're able to do in a given day. So make it a habit that each and every time you are able to give a progress of whatever you've been able to do. So um, maybe do we have any announcements from the Ten Academy team before we get to before we get to the hot seat? I guess more. Hi. So one thing I can mention is that there is a tutorial coming up soon uh, after this standard. I guess nothing bigger than that. Okay, thank you. Uh, do we have anyone else with the announcement? <coughs> So there's one announcement that was made by Mary. Um, so ensure that you fill the form for uh, the graduation information. Um, the link was shared in the chat. So ensure that um, you fill that form for uh, uh, the information that is required for your graduation, especially in um, the certificate. So yeah. Um, so we'll move to if there is no further announcement we are going to move to um, the hot seat um, and i think we are going to have hikma if i'm not wrong in the hot seat <clears throat> so hikma maybe you uh, you can greet us and then turn on your camera Hi, everyone. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm doing good. Nice. So we have Hikma uh, in the hot seat today. So um, we're going to pick sets of hands. So those who have questions, um, the random questions that you would love to ask Hikma, anything that you'd love to know about Hikma. So i think this is the time um so um, so maybe you could raise our hands and then we will start the time so we can raise our hands <clears throat> those who have questions yeah keep keep the hands coming keep the hands coming Keep the hands coming. Thank you, thank you. Keep the hands coming. Um, yeah. Uh, so, um, so thank you. As uh, so, I think I think we will begin. We'll begin, uh, and then you'll just keep your hands coming so that we we are able to do this. So we are going to start the timer um, for the five minutes. Um, so I will start, I'll ask a question and then uh, we'll pick the sets of hands to go next. So, um, so maybe Hikma, what would constitute, uh, uh, what would constitute for you a perfect day? What would a perfect day look for you? Um, wake up in the morning and good breakfast and have a nice, uh, greeting with family especially with my mom and um, uh, work around uh, to my work or uh, these days demo uh, these days uh, where 
get uh, in the stand-up meeting and um, update my works and uh, read more about the project uh, working with the, the challenges and uh, uh, yeah that's it <laughs> okay so we have titus okay Hikma. Uh, who's your favorite person and why um my favorite there's a, a, a lot of uh, my favorite person in fam in family uh, my favorite person is my mom and she is my hero and my <laughs> all all things she is a hard person and nice person warm person yeah that's what um rafa yeah, he asked my question, but now, uh, so what is your biggest regret in life? Uh, what? Your biggest regret. regret. Biggest what? Re regret. Regret. Regret? Uh, I have no much regret because I always do the right, uh, uh, the right thing is or uh, I, I didn't have that much replay. Okay, Daisy. Um, Hikma, what are two things we don't know about you? Uh, I I smile a lot. Uh, I'm uh, laugh a lot with uh, small things. Um, Ramet. Um, what do you favorite me? Uh, me, food. Doro, chicken. Jeremy. Uh, how do you enjoy spending your time alone? Enjoy time with what? How do you enjoy spending your alone time? Um, watching movie or, or talk with family. Family time. Daisy? Um, Hikma, I know you may be a patriot, but what's one thing you don't like about your country that would make you live? And to which country are you moving to? Uh, the most thing I hate with my country is crowded, especially in Addis. There's a lot of people and noise. Uh, I hate the, I hate the thing. Uh, and, uh, I love the most country in my country, uh, Bahada. She's be uh, beautiful and clean. So I love Bahada. Rafa? Yeah, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but uh, how old are you, Hekma? Uh, <laughs> 25. October, I got 25. Okay. We still have one minute. More questions? Yes, guess again. What did you love from Bardar? Um, the, the clean, the cleanness, and the people, especially the cleanness and the, the lake, the lake one. Daisy. Um, what's one thing you found out about yourself through Ten Academy? Um, I can do uh, whatever, but uh, whatever uh, I can focus uh, that I realize. Anything. 20 seconds left. Tadese? <clears throat> okay, Hikma, uh, why motivate, what motivates you to join the Nakada? Uh, I love that. Uh, uh, I, I love that uh, engineering with I, I saw many people in, in find this do this uh, job and uh, I found out that this career I realized I love it. It's my interest. Okay, time is up, but Traf, I think you can um, ask the last question. Yeah, I was asking, I was about to ask uh, if you can remember. Um, 
some of the trainees without looking at the screen. Uh, <laughs> it was uh, a lot of the students, <laughs> I remember. Um, especially my teammates. You, you can mention them. Um, Daisy, <laughs> uh, Kimra, he's my uh, peer mentor, and Gazahang, <laughs> a, a lot of uh, teammates. Okay. Rafa, I remember Rafa, I don't, with community. <laughs> Okay, thank you, thank you. So um, you are able to answer um, 13 questions without a pass. Uh, thank you for that. How do you feel now at the end? Uh, I feel good. <laughs> it's nice to have this kind of... Uh... Okay, okay. So yeah, thank you, thank you for that. Um, okay. Anyone who else something else before maybe we close the stand up of today? Okay, claps for uh, Hikma. I think we can cheer for Hikma. It's a wonderful work. Okay, so. Thanks to everyone. If there is no um, other thing, I think we can close the stand up at this point. And then we prepare for uh, the tutorial that is coming up. Next.